a modern iron hammer embedded in a 400 million year old rock, a mysterious gold man-made bell encased in charcoal for millions of years, hundreds of small spheres with tiny grooves dating back 2.8 billion years? Are these proof of past ancient advanced civilizations? It's currently believed by science that modern man came into existence about 200,000 years ago. Civilizations as we know them are only about 6,000 years old and industrialization only started around 200 years ago. However, there have been many artifacts found throughout the years that do not even come close to fitting into this timeline. Once in a while, strange and out of place artifacts from the ancient past are discovered, making us wonder and question, are we really the first of our kind here on earth? Here are the top five artifacts that prove ancient civilizations existed. Number five, the London Hammer. In June 1936, husband and wife, Emma and Max Hahn, went on a stroll along Red Creek in London, Texas. On their walk, they saw a loose rock with a piece of wood sticking out of it. Out of curiosity, they took it home and kept it. It would be an entire decade until their son cracked it open with a chisel and hammer. Utterly stumped, they turned over the artifact to archaeologists who were puzzled by the find. What made the hammer so unique? Could it have been just an ordinary 19th century hammer a worker abandoned and was somehow encased in a rock? During their study, they found that the rock encasing the hammer dates as far back as 400 million years old, belonging to the Ordovician era. However, others have proposed it belongs to the Cretaceous era, about 150 million years old. Regardless, it's a very old artifact. Closely examined, the iron head is five inches long with a one inch diameter, making it likely that it was used for soft metal or finer work instead of large projects. The head portion is made from 96.6% iron, far too pure than what nature could produce without the help of technology. However, the real kicker is that the iron itself is said to be 500 million years old. It's so old that a portion of the handle has even started transforming into coal. Nobody can explain how this happened. There are educated guesses including one stating that highly soluble minerals already in the limestone must have created a concentration around the item. This then caused it to seem as old as the minerals dated itself. However, that is unlikely and doesn't explain the handle turning to coal, which takes a minimum 30 million years to form. No one has been able to confirm the origins of the London Hammer, and so to this day it remains a strong contender for proof of an intelligent ancient past. Number four, the unexplained stone doll. Drilling for artisan water is not the first thing you think of when hunting for proof of advanced ancient cultures. But somehow, one mundane drilling in 1889 turned up something that might prove just that. When workers reached a depth of about 300 feet with their drill, M.A. Kurtz, one of the founders for the drilling company, was at the end of the sand pump running his hands through the contents spat out by the machine. His hand caught on something solid. Unsure of what it was, he rinsed it near the standing water and to his surprise discovered a tiny stone doll. Measuring about an inch and a half, the tiny doll was made from half clay and half quartz. Professor Albert A. Wright from the Oberlin College studied it carefully and concluded it wasn't a child's toy, but the work of a real artist. Despite being battered, the proportions and characteristics are there. It has a bulbous head with clear marks for the eyes and mouth, short thick arms, as well as broad shoulders and legs, one of which is broken off. Markings around the body indicate it might have had jewelry or something attached to it at one point. The doll was also examined by other scientists and found it to be made from the same clay that came up with it during the drilling at 300 plus feet. To this day, no one knows how the stone doll got there. Was it made by an ancient lost culture? What do you think? Number three, the strange man-made bell. What makes this next artifact so strange is that it was supposedly found buried inside a piece of coal. Coal is a special byproduct formed from decaying matter. What makes it unique is that it takes anywhere between 30 to 300 million years to form. Hence, when an unusual metallic object is found inside coal, 
it forces a lot of questions. One day in West Virginia in 1944, Newton Anderson, a 10-year-old boy, was asked to feed coal in their basement furnace. Taking a full shovel and walking towards the furnace, he wobbled and a huge coal chunk fell on the floor. The chunk broke open to reveal a small protruding metal on one of the pieces. Anderson would then take the coal and break it further to reveal a slender brass bell handle. What makes this puzzling is that the bituminous coal found near Anderson's home is estimated to be 300 million years old. How could a brass metal bell exist inside a 300 million year old piece of coal? What's more, modern experts tracked down the same mine and discovered that the same coal was found underground at depths of 100 feet. This blows away arguments that the modern looking bell somehow fell and found its way into the coal. The bell itself is designed with similarities to the Hindu deity Garuda and the Babylonian demon Pazuzu. The narrow face, the wings, and kneeling posture provide telltale signs. Is it possible for the bell to be part of an ancient pagan civilization? Or is it a far more modern construction? One thing is for sure, the bell still rings perfectly when you sound it. Perhaps it won't reveal its secrets, but it is a beautiful piece whose possibilities of origins could be truly amazing. Number two, the Koso artifact. People have called it the world's oldest spark plug, while skeptics have dismissed it as a geological anomaly. There is no doubt, however, that the Koso artifact is a complete mystery. In 1961, three rock hunters were looking for geodes in California's Koso Mountains to use for their gift and gem shop. Geodes are hollow rocks with mineral crystals like amethyst inside. Back at the shop, Mike Mansell, one of the hikers, placed a simple rock under a diamond saw to cut it open. It cut in half, but only after damaging a practically brand new diamond saw. Hoping to find crystals inside, he instead discovered something else. Inside the geo was what looked like a porcelain cylinder surrounding a shiny metal rod. Initial tests done on the geode showed it as more than 500,000 years old, hundreds and thousands of years before any advanced civilization supposedly showed up on Earth. What's even more fascinating is the x-rays revealed something unexpected. It showed the upper part of the item had a tiny spring or a small helix. The other half showed a piece of metal, likely copper, serving as a cover to the porcelain cylinder. The design and construction hinted it was more than just a piece of machinery, but instead an actual electrical instrument. Comparisons were made and many people noted its resemblance to a modern spark plug. Does this prove that ancient civilizations existed? Does this suggest our idea of human evolution and ancient technology might be wrong? Whatever the Koso artifact was, it's too late to find out now. To date, no one knows where it is, and none of the three original hikers can be found. Number one, the grooved spheres. Our final artifact is one that has been around the longest. Considered to be 2.8 billion years old, miners at the Wonderstone Silver Mine in South Africa have been finding these spheres from deep rock for over three decades. The majority of these are described to be in a spheroid shape with some featuring three parallel grooves perfectly running at its equator. To date, over 200 of these have been found. Geologist J.R. McIver and Andres Bischoff examined several pieces of these spheroid artifacts in 1979. These spheres have a distinct flattened globe shape. They measure between one and four inches in diameter and have a metallic texture on the outside. As for their color, some have a steel blue with a reddish shade and others have white flecks embedded on the coat. Some people propose they could have come from a meteorite, but the spheres were partly made from nickel, which isn't present in meteors. Other spheres have a thin shell and when broken, they contain a mysterious spongy material that disintegrates upon contact with air. Some of these stones are considered to be perfectly balanced and they can rotate for a long time when spun. It is extremely unlikely that these spheres form naturally, if not impossible. So how do we explain them being almost 3 billion years old? Either humans created them long ago, or they are from another, perhaps extraterrestrial being, and that is something awesome to consider. 
So there are five artifacts that prove ancient civilizations existed well before our history books tell us. Perhaps there have been many cycles of human growth and destruction over the past billion years, an idea so big that it's hard for us to fathom and so we dismiss it as a possibility. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below, and if you liked the video, please subscribe as we'll be sharing new content every week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week where we'll be looking at some of the most frightening real ghosts ever caught on tape, so you don't want to miss that.